Happy Sunday, everyone, and welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Now, of course, on Friday, Icon Swaps 3 dropped. Now, I'll be giving a lot of different opinions on Icon Swaps throughout this video, I guarantee, because a lot of you guys will be asking me what you guys think, or sorry, what I think of you guys uh, and what Icon Swaps to go for. Uh, I'm going to say straight away, I personally think the best combination of Icon Swaps to go for is the Prime Icon Pack and either Kaka or Maldini. I think that is undoubtedly, if you're getting all 24 tokens, the best route to go. I think second best route to go is probably going for, uh, you know, maybe a... a a Cannavaro or a Petit. Uh, I know that's only one icon for the tokens, but I think they're both fantastic and, and going to be game changers for you. Um, or even going for the likes of like Burkamp and, I don't know, Gattuso, something like that. But I think that mainly uh, the Prime Icon Pack for nine tokens is such a fantastic deal, in my opinion. There's so many amazing icons you can get. And for just nine tokens, you can literally get it this season really quickly. I'm personally grinding for it myself. Uh, so I just thought I would say that straight away. Um, but... I do think that situational uh, differences do apply. So if someone's got a team where they need, for example, the likes of a Cannavaro, I will obviously refer them to Cannavaro. And I also thought I'd quickly mention as well that, of course, we have a Discord link in the description. Make sure you join that where I announce when I'm recording the episodes and rate some of you guys' teams in the Discord and stuff like that. So... We're going to start off straight away after all that waffling with Dan Parker's team. He says, hey, hey, but the second team is the one in-game. Um... The only tradables are Carver How, uh, sorry, Carver How, Fabra, Testagen, and Marlin, including the bench. Uh, got 100k and willing to save suggestions for upgrades. Also, suggestions on who I should go for in Icon Swaps 3. Keep up the good work. Let's check it out. All right, let's have a quick look. Oh, okay. Um, I like this link up over here. Nice, nice little link up down there on the left. Um, ultimately, I think that Crespo and Vinicius should be changed. I think Vinicius is way better suited to Cam, and I think Crespo is way better suited to Striker. Um, that's just my personal opinion with that. I, I do think that they, they are obviously both good players, but I think that you'll find Crespo better suited to Striker. Now, in terms of who to go for for Icon Swaps 3, it's a tough one. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I think, of course, uh, a Prime Icon pack and like a Kaka is a great uh, suggestion. Looking at your team... You probably could fit a, a Prime Icon Pack and Kaka in the team pretty well. So you could go for a Prime Icon Pack and uh, and test your look and hopefully get something decent. And then it might change your team up completely. You might get, for example, a Hullet. And then you're changing up who you're going for at your left centre mid or your striker or something like that. Um, or you can go for uh, a Kaka, for example, and replace ZH with Kaka. Uh, and I think that will be a very a very good uh, improvement, getting Prime Kaka over ZH. That will also give you the link to Vinicius. So you can actually get a better right back um, because I don't think Carvajal's normal card is particularly amazing. Uh, he does have a, an 8 7 rated inform card, which actually might be better, so he might be worth uh, trying that out too. Um, and uh, I guess you'll see with a Prime Icon Pack who you get. I do recommend, though, guys, if you're going for, like, a, for example, a Prime Icon Pack and then you're choosing one of the icons, please, please, please get the Icon Pack first. Now, the reason I say that is because you could get an icon in the Icon Pack that you were initially going to get. For example, you could get Prime Burkamp and you were initially going to get Prime Moments Burkamp. Even though I, that might not be possible, actually. But you could get, for example, Prime Kaka and you were going to get Prime Kaka anyway. Then you can use your tokens on somebody else. That's why I say that. So be smart. Go for the Prime Icon Pack first. Uh, but yeah, I think I think getting Kaka and Icon Pack is definitely a, a solid shout. You could also get Kaka and uh, and maybe like Gattuso and replace your left striker with Gattuso. Um, he'd be a solid CDM for you. Uh, I, I do think anyway. Um, but yeah, I think Prime Kaka definitely will be a big improvement in this team to replace for ZH. I think ZH is decent, but I think Prime Kaka ultimately is a lot better. I think if you disagree with Prime Kaka being better than ZH, you honestly, I don't, I'd, I'd be very surprised. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. Um... Anyway, next team coming from Angel, who says, Hey, Haber, this is my team. All is tradable. Second pick is in-game. My budget is 110k. Uh, love your vids. Let's check it out. Okay. Ooh, okay. I mean, this is a very, very interesting team. And something that I do find really interesting is when you guys have teams like this in March. Because I would have thought that if you'd have played FIFA for quite a while, I see you've got a lot of plays on the bench that you would have got from objectives. You'd actually amassed more coins in this. Uh, I do say a lot in the episodes, you know, if you uh, grind rivals and champs, you can make a couple hundred K a week. And that is 100% true. If you grind champs and rivals, you can easily make a couple hundred K a week just from getting tradable packs or coins and getting yourself uh, champs rewards as well. Um, a lot of people say, oh, my pack looks terrible, this, that, and the other. If you actually go through and sell everything individually and you sell the plays and things like that, you really can make good coins every single week. Uh, in terms of this team, what I would say is if you're going to do icon swaps, like I said, 
prime market pack again testing your look because because there isn't one position where i'd say okay this one icon from icon stops will massively improve your team you know maybe going for uh, a prime moments uh Laudrup might be a lot better than griezmann or maybe going for uh, a prime moments petit would be a hundred times better than Suzuko. That, that's a hundred percent true but i think that if you get the prime icon pack maybe you get like a prime hullet and then you've got the best center mid in the entire game kind of thing so that's what i would go for there uh so i would say get yourself uh i'd probably say the same thing as what i just said Prime Icon Pack, uh, Prime Icon Kaka, replace uh, replace Griezmann with Kaka. Now, that that will put Dembele onto eight chemistry, um, but I don't think it's a massive problem. I really don't think that's a huge problem at all. And if you really do think it's a problem, you can swap Young min Son and Sezoko in-game. Uh, but I think those two are definitely uh, the options I'd go for. Now, in terms of actually buying in replacements, um, there's a lot of icons that are pretty cheap right now. There's a lot of plays that are pretty cheap right now with 110k. Uh, I think that probably an improvement you can genuinely go for here. I'd actually get Ramos over Longley. I think Longley's decent, but I think Ramos is better. Um, so I think looking at Ra Ramos over Longley could be a good shout, uh, even just short term. Uh, whether you want to go and complete the Ramos uh, SBC, you know, where you want to grind that over a few weeks of, of getting rewards and stuff, uh, and then put him in off chemistry or something as well is not a bad shout. Uh, but yeah, I'd, I'd personally say go for something like that, really. Next up is Meme Ward's team, who is uh, a staff member of the Discord as well. He says, hey, Saber, I play a 4-2-3-1 in-game. Jovic Cam, as he's better than the uh, striker for me. Uh, the only defense is tradable, uh, except... Uh, oh, sorry. Only the defense is tradable, except Carlos. And I have 100,000 coins for improvements. Love the vids and cheers for the Lopez. He's insane. If you guys didn't know, we actually managed to pack him that Lissandro Lopez on stream the other day uh, which I thought was absolutely fantastic and I was over the moon to get him that so with 100k first things first get yourself second form Wamba Saka uh, he's literally about 40k and a much 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 improved card in comparison to the normal card uh, so that's the first thing I'd say to do uh, I'd then say get yourself to Stegen in net as well you don't need the link with Ariola. Um, I think get yourself to Stegen he's about sort of 30, 35k as well. Uh, and then I get yourself Furlan Mendy at left back over Lodi. Uh, with 100k, they're three really, really good improvements. Um, so I, I would definitely say go with those three for sure. Um, but yeah, no, the team is really nice otherwise. I like the team a lot. Uh, and that Lissandro Lopez, mate. <laughs> I'm I'm jealous. I, I genuinely am jealous. I really wish I'd have packed him. I might have to go and buy him. Uh, I might have to. The next one comes from Anthony. Uh, we see Anthony in the notification games as well. So massive shout out to you, Anthony. Uh, I appreciate all the input that you, uh, you you give to me on Twitter and stuff like that. Uh, he says, uh, 1.5 mil budget. The tradables are Mbappe, Petit, Kante, Varane, Walker into Stegen. I play this formation in game and I'm open to change any changes or players. Uh, let's check it out. So, okay. Um... Interesting. This is actually a really good setup. I like this a lot. Uh, what I would say with this team, with one and a half million coins, ooh, this is actually uh this is a bit of a tough, tough one. Honestly, I think this might be this might be a bit of a tricky one. Hmm. See, initially what I wanted to say was was get, and this is gonna sound so so silly because I know, but I was gonna say get yourself Furlan Mendy's CDM card. I love Furlan Mendy on this game. Uh however, that is not an option, I don't think. Uh, maybe upgrading your Mbappe. I think the, the difficult position you're in currently is that you have some of the best players on the game. Two team of the years, prime icon, Mbappe and Neymar, uh, Varane and, and Ramos are both fantastic centre-backs. Unless you want to go down the route of getting yourself a prime Desai over Ramos, uh, or unless you want to go down the route of upgrading your Petit to prime moments Petit, uh, I would say... Right now, you're just doing very small tune-up uh, upgrades. So I would say, for your team, we'll get onto the point now, uh, upgrade Ramos to either Prime Desai or if you can afford him, Prime Moments Cannavaro. I I reckon Cannavaro has probably actually dropped a little bit. Let me double check on his price real quick on Footbin. Um, he's dropped a bit, but not enough for you to afford him, unfortunately. Um, which is, that is unfortunate. He's still 1.6, 1.7 million. Uh, so in terms of other players you can go for, I mean, I guess you could go with, maybe go with uh, the likes of Middle Maldini. Wouldn't be a bad shout. Um, but I think Desai ultimately is probably my favorite out of, out of all the ones you can afford. Uh, 91 Desai is prime card. He's dropped so much since I bought him because I bought him for like 1.4 million and now he's 800K. Anyway, Prime Desai is one of the best setbacks backs in the game. So I would say replace your Ramos with Prime Desai. Uh, and then I would look at uh, going in icon swaps for maybe a Prime Moments Burkamp over Ben Yedder. 
or get yourself Prime Moments loud drop over Ben Yedder and get in the Prime Icon pack and seeing if you can get Prime Icon Desai or a centre back in that Prime Icon pack before you go buy him. That might not be a bad shout either. But this is a really nice team. I like this team a lot. It's a good setup in game. Uh, it's, you know, you've got some phenomenal players there and you've had some pretty, pretty, pretty good untradeable pack look. Uh, the next one coming from Slow says 300k untradeables are Gattuso, Figo, Dalgleish, Raul, and Dalbert. Gattuso and Dalgleish from swaps. That's actually a really good. Um, a really good uh, choice. And I see you've already got Gattuso, which I respect. Uh, you know, some heavy grinding went into that, and I do respect that. And obviously, you get yourself uh, Dalgalish from swaps later on. Using that and Babu as well is a good card. What I would say might not be a bad shout. Um, hmm. I'm just going to double check that as well uh, before I say that. Because what I think uh, could be a decent shout is actually uh, getting yourself a different right back to play at CDM. And then putting that uh, Mbabi card at right back wouldn't be a bad shout. Uh, but I'm just looking through some of the options you can actually go with here. There's a few decent options, but you have to obviously constrain to the fact that you need a Brazilian player, and I think or a City A player, and that is actually unfortunately gonna gonna um, compromise my ideas here. So I think you just keep it the same way. Um, probably just keep it the same way, uh, and and keep everyone. You know, on the same on the same level, but ultimately this team, I don't see a huge improvement. Maybe down the line, obviously improving your centre backs, improving your left back, going for that um, player moments. Alexandre wouldn't be a bad shout, uh, and then getting centre backs wide, get yourself some better centre backs uh, in the fray. Maybe eventually get yourself uh, team of the year delict, uh, as he's one of the best City A centre backs, um, or get yourself icons. Really, apart from that, I think this seems sick. And one thing I do want to say. I know, like, I personally think that Icon SBCs are better than Icon Swaps. But one thing I do like a lot about Icon Swaps is it's allowed people to have pretty much a full attack of Icons that are decent Icons for completely nothing. And I do respect that from EA. I think that being able to get that attack and, and, and Gattuso simply just from playing the game and investing time into rivals, investing time into champs, investing time into squad battles. I personally think that's actually really good. Uh, now, I do prefer the Yarkon SPCs from last year. I think they were a lot better. Um, you know, I thought they were easier to grind and stuff like that for, for myself because I invested a lot of them into the game. But I think this is a, ultimately a better choice for people that don't invest a lot of money into the game. So I respect that. I just thought I'd uh, I, I'd speak up on that because I do speak up negatively on the eight a lot. Um, you know, I do uh, criticize certain things they do all the time. And I, I, I'm self-aware of that. So I thought that Every once in a while, it's nice to to actually be fair and be completely transparent and actually give them um, some some compliments for things they've done right. Anyway, the next team coming from Hypes, who says 100k for improvements. The untradeables are Oshman, Road to the Final, Carlos, uh, Felipe Anderson, Raul Testagan, and Charisma. Uh, what improvements would you suggest? Oh, you're using Charisma. I like it. I like that a lot, actually. Uh, first person that's using Charisma today. I've actually gone and done the SBC, and I'm going to be using him as well uh, in champs uh, pretty much just after this video, really. Uh, I like the link between Ndidi and Oshman. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I think you can get better than uh, I think you can get better than Fabinho uh, at your centre mid spot, to be honest. Uh, looking at different CDMs and stuff from the Prem, there's a whole host of different options you can go with. Uh, you've got about 100k. Uh, let's have a quick look over at Footbin right now for Prem CDMs uh, with a 100k budget. Uh, and the reason why a lot of you guys say uh, you only look at PlayStation prices, I am so used to looking at PlayStation prices. Uh, it's literally like second nature. So I do apologize that I don't always look at uh, prices for Xbox, but I'm just so used to instantly looking at uh, PlayStation prices. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, this is the card you could go for. Now, in terms of links and stuff, yes, uh, you actually do need the link for, uh, for Diego Carlos via Alexandro, but you can just get Marcelo there um, as your left back and, and get this the link you need over here for um for Diego Carlos so it's not a big problem uh but this is a card I'd recommend looking at uh he's the polar opposite to NDD which I think is good to have two CDMs where they're very different uh he's got good pace good passing good defending good physical good dribbling uh small agile uh but strong as well and good at winning the ball with good aggression so I think that could be a decent option for you uh to explore or if you want to keep the same and you just want to go with two big brutal uh CDMs, I'd go with this Decore card. Uh, it could be a decent option as well. Uh, but the team's nice. I do like the team. I will say that. So the next one coming from Machini, it says 500k. Any improvements? Love the vids. Let's check it out. Uh, yeah, there's definitely improvements to be made in this squad. 
straight away, I think that Varane over Edo Militao is definitely an improvement. Uh, I'd also say I like what you're doing over here with the Germans. Um, you know, I like the I like the link and I like the use of the Germans, but they are, there is room for improvement there, one hundred percent. Who you could improve to? I would say go icon swaps here. Um, you're playing Maya as your you're playing them both as centre mids, so you could replace Maya with the likes of. Ooh, let's have a look at uh, uh, who I think would be the best centre mid option here uh, from icon swaps uh, centre mid wise. To be honest, I don't think Frank Lampard would be the worst centre mid in the world. Uh, Litmanen would be a pretty decent centre mid, just doesn't have the defensive uh, ability or capability, should I say. Um, if you really, like, I wouldn't recommend going with middle, uh, Baby Hullet, but if it's something you really want to. I think Lampard would be a, an alright box-to-box, to, -box, to be fair. Uh, good passing, uh, sort of good stats there. I think Laudrup would be a decent box-to-box, -box, just doesn't have the, the defensive capabilities. Uh, so you could go you could go down that route. I, I've gone on the completely wrong tab. Um, or you could just get another German from the Prem, maybe get yourself informed, good one or something, but I think Maya is probably better than that. Uh, I would say, yeah, just look look to upgrade icon-wise. Maybe even go with like a Prime Nakata as a box-to-box. -box. I think it'd be pretty good. But the rest of the team is really solid, though. I like the team a lot. Uh, we've done meme wards. We're going to end it off with Sion because it's meme wards after that. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Sion. He says, hey, Saber, I don't have much money, but boy, if I did, I'd buy a big house where we both could live. That's, uh, I don't know why I did that, I'll be honest with you. I just... The Elson John song popped into my head. Uh, he said, hey, Saber, I don't have much money, so can you just tell me uh, who to go for? The whole team and the bench is untradeable, except for the very expensive Dembele. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm saving for Prime Icon Moments Lampard uh, from Swaps. Keep up the good work. Well, first of all, don't waste your time on getting Lampard from Swaps, mate. Just don't. If you're getting 10 tokens anyway, you're way better off getting the Prime Pack. Like I look at this team, right, and I think Dembele, Griezmann, PK... Uh, Balak, maybe Zambrotto if you get lucky and get one of the right backs that isn't Zanetti. Like, you have five players here that easily could be improved with a prime icon if you get the right player. So, for example, Best, Garincha, uh would both be really good up, uh, upgrades to Dembele. Uh, in terms of Griezmann, you can get literally a whole host of different uh, icon attackers. Uh, Balak, you could literally get prime Balak, Matthias, Hullet, Vieira, loads of different options there as well. Uh, so I would say get nine tokens to get yourself a prime icon pack and go for that instead. Yes, it doesn't guarantee you uh, a player you're going to use in your squad. You, know, you could get a goalkeeper, you could get something like that. It doesn't guarantee you um, a replacement for these players. But if you if you very worst get something you don't want to use, you can just go and get a different player. You can still get that Lampard. It's a little bit more work, but I think the gamble is worth it personally. Um, but the rest of the team is decent. Uh, I would say in terms of, of players you want to upgrade, upgrade Griezmann, upgrade Dembele, upgrade Balak for sure. Um, I think those three are your your three main priorities for upgrades. And then looking at PK after that, I think. Um, but the rest of the team is solid. Uh, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, if you did, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate the support. And I'll see you lads later.